Hello children, welcome to Kissy Story World. Today we are going to read Mog and the Granny by Judith Kerr. One day, Mog was waiting for Debbie to come home from school. Mog always knew when Debbie was coming. She didn't know how she knew. She just knew. Suddenly, a picture would come into her head of Debbie coming down the road. Then she would go to meet her. Debbie said, school's all finished for the summer. Mock, isn't it exciting? Mock said nothing. She didn't like things to be exciting. She liked them to be the same. Inside the house, everyone was excited too. Mrs. Thomas was packing. Mr. Thomas was looking for something important. Nikki was dancing and singing a song he had made up. We are going to America where the skyscrapers are. We are not going by train but not on an but on an aeroplane. We will see all the sights and it will be very surprising because they have their days when we have a, all our nights. Debbie said, you can't come, Mog, but you are going to a nice granny's house. She will look after you till we come back. Next day, Mog went to the granny's house. The granny was old with very thin legs. First, Mog thought she had three legs. Then she saw that one of them was a stick. Debbie said, Goodbye, dear Mog. The granny said, I will look after Mog. And she will have my tables for company. Mog thought, Tibbles? Nobody told me that there would be a, another cat. At least he sounds quite small. Tibbles had been small to start with, but then he had grown. Here is a little friend for you, said the granny. Tibbles like the surprising people. And he liked Mog's basket. The granny said, don't be silly, Tibbles. Let Mog have her basket and you can sleep on my bed. Mog sat in her basket, but she couldn't sleep. She thought of her house. She thought of Debbie. Suddenly, a picture of Debbie came into her head. Debbie was in a high place and there were even higher places all around. It was all too high. Mog didn't think Debbie shouldn't be there. Whatever is the matter, Mog, said Granny. You You'd better come and snuggle up with me, us. A few days later, the person bought a card. It's from Debbie, said the granny. She's been to the top of a skyscraper. Mog thought the card smelled of Debbie. Dibbles didn't have a card. He had a tea in a saucer instead. He was very fond of tea. Tibbles had an open window instead of a cat flap. He had a gear to play in. Sometimes Mog and Tibbles played together. Sometimes they chase each other. Sometimes they like each other. And sometimes they didn't. The granny gave them nice food to eat. She went to the shops to buy it. They always had the same, but they always thought the other ones was a nicer. The first time the granny went shopping, Mog had a big surprise. The granny no longer had a stick. She had a wheels instead. She gave Tibbles a ride. What about you, Mog? said the granny. But Mog thought the wheels were too surprising. One day, the granny put out her best teacups. 
She said we are going to have a party. It was very hot. So they had the party in the yard. A lot of other grannies ca came. They were surprised to see Mog. The granny told them about Mog's people. She said they have been all over America and now they were coming, ending up to a special Red Indian show. The grannies stay a long time. Mog got very tired. She thought of Debbie and she wondered what the Red Indians were. Suddenly, a picture of Debbie came into her head. Debbie was smiling to a big bird. Mog knew it was a bird because it has feathers, but it had had a face of like a person. It was a person bird. And there were more person birds nearby. Why was Devi smiling? Those big person birds might fly away with her and hurt her. Mog wanted to save Devi. She did a big jump. Tibbles la like tea inside him, not outside. Oh dear, said the granny. Oh dear, said all, uh, all the other grannies. And your best cup too. They, then they went home. That night, Mog didn't sleep in the granny's bed. She was too sad. She was still sad in the morning. She thought of Tibbles and Granny's being upset. She thought of Debbie and the person bus. Suddenly, a picture of Debbie came into her head. The person bus had not hurt her at all. Instead, they had given her some of their feathers and a baby person bird as a present. She was smiling and excited and she was coming home. Mock thought I must be there to meet her. She ran out of the yard and across a road and down another road and up a tree. After a time, the dog went home. Mog wanted to go home too, but she couldn't get down the tree. She tried this way and that way, but she was stuck and it was getting late and Debbie would be coming home. Mock thought, there is nobody to help me, but there was somebody. Quick, Mock, jump, said Granny and Mock's jump. We will have to get a move on, said the granny. We haven't much time, said the granny. I think we can just make it, said the granny. And they did. When Debbie got home, Mog was there to meet her. We have never had such excitement, said the granny. And Mog will have to come and stay with Tibbles again. Mock said nothing. She didn't like things to be exciting. She liked them to be the same. So this is the end of the story, children. If you want to hear more story, please stay, subscribe my channel. Bye.